I was told to come check out a certain uh, Viper because somebody's crazy and is running 19s with Toyota Proxies yep. on it. Yeah, street tires. A whole lot of power. Yeah, I mean, it's probably 1750 wheel on uh, 1750? Yep. It's the same tire the underground guys use yep. a lot. Yeah, gotcha. but we have uh, half the number of driven wheels that they do. So. Exactly, rear wheel drive. Yeah, we are uh, traction challenged. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be stuff. interesting. tires here and we're just using these little street tires. Nice. So what's the combo under the hood of this thing? Uh, it's really simple. Built motor, uh, dry sump, sequential. Um, it's a you know, OEM block. Uh, it's been sleeved. Really? Um, head cam, all the basic supporting stuff, fuel system, clutch. Uh, use my engineering M1 Motec plug and play for, uh, package that runs on all of these cars. Nice. It has anti lag, all the traction control. <laughs> That's going to help and you a lot here today. Yeah, that's really what helps these cars run well is, you know, without the traction control, these tires would just be annihilated. Oh, yeah. so. And mile an hour isn't the, the king here. That, that anti-lag is going to help a lot to get out of the right. hole. Right, yeah, getting out of the hole hard is really important in these races. You can you can be way underpowered and kick somebody's ass if you get out in front of them. Sure. How much power can you make on a stock sleeve block? Is this uh, pretty much stock the limit? sleeves, yeah, so this block has sleeves just in case. Yeah. Um, we've made, with other cars, we've made 2,000 horsepower in the stock sleeves. Um, once you go much past that, they, they're not happy for very long at that. So. I bet. So we wanted to be safe with this car. I mean, this is going to be a street car. It's going to get driven a bunch. So with this setup, it should never have any issues at all. It's 1750 horsepower all day long. Yeah. And this car comes stock with like seven something or five? 645 Six. from the factory. 645. Uh, but that's at the crank. This is 1750 at the wheels. Holy so crap. It's, you know, it's three times the stock power, more than three times. Yeah, like usually. Half times the stock power. They usually dine about 530 to the wheels stock. So, wow. Three and a half times the stock power. You're running. Rear wheel drive class? Yes, rear wheel drive. Any predictions on mile an hour with this? Uh, hopefully 195. Nice. That's, that's pretty damn high. Yeah. A few years ago, I think 195 was close to the fastest speed yeah, out here. Yeah, that, that would have, three or four years ago, that would have been absolutely the fastest car out here. Yeah, sure. And you, you're doing it in a stock looking Viper. Yeah, stock. The body is 100% stock, stock wheels. You know, the only thing we change is the, the tires on the rear, on the body. Everything else, suspension is all bone stock. Yeah. We haven't even changed the settings on the wing. It's just the way the wing comes from the factory, so it's fully adjustable. That's the factory Mopar wing. Yeah, this is the factory ACR Extreme wing. Really? Uh, all the aero on the front is all factory ACR Extreme. The strakes on the back. This aero is specifically designed for road racing, so it's kind of wearing off the bottom as a. Oh, it scrapes that bad. Oh yeah. This is, you see the oh yeah, the splitter's real low. Without the arrow, so we'll see how that does difference between the two cars. Good. Let's get to it. Good luck, man. Thanks. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> 205. Yeah. What did you start at? Uh, we started all the way from the back. Did you? So, yeah, nice. that was a full pass. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, it was. It was sketchy stopping at the end. But I bet. <laughs> How much power is this thing? 1750. Good you know, God. Right now. It's, so. it's pretty unsuspecting. I'm like, how the hell are you going to make it to the final? Yeah, this is uh, we built this to be a street car. It's 19 inch wheels, sweet. stock AC, power steering, all that stuff. It's, You're like two miles an hour off the unicorn. I yeah, think. We, we did not expect to be this far. That's badass. Glad, it, glad it is. Hell yeah. Good luck in the final, man. TI yeah. with 19s? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Holy sh! That's nuts. Look at that. <laughs> I think a lot of people were uh, surprised that. Really? This is a, this car just got finished yesterday. So. No way. What were you trapping? 192? 195. Pretty consistent. 192, 195. Really? It's topped out. It's got no more boost. It's just an air-to-air -air intercooler. It's built to be a street car. Didn't expect to make it this far, but more than happy that we did. The hood, the right side hood light oh, popped no. up halfway down the track. I, I, it popped up. I could barely see. I was looking over the hood to see. Oh no track. way! But I wasn't about to let out. So. That's crazy. Well, that's one hell of a maiden voyage. Congrats, man. We're more than more than ecstatic. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. The new rear wheel drive champ. Uh, the car was piloted by Colin Murphy from Calvo Motorsports. The car was built by Antonio Calvo, Calvo Motorsports. Come on up, guys. And this was actually Tip Murphy's car. This is Colin's father's car. Come on up. This is a sequential. I mean, check this out. They won that on 19 inch wheels. <laughs> and a sequential with AC. I mean, that truly is. That's three car. So this is Antonio Colin and his father Tiff. I'm proud to give you guys this trophy. You earned it. Verbal Drive Challenge winners, first place. Here you go. Yeah. Thanks for all your support, guys. And also, we need to embarrass one special person. His beer game is pretty strong. It's okay. He's been shooting over here for several years. He doesn't even know what we're talking about. I mean, he's flirting with all the girls around him. Because it's his birthday, he thinks he's going to get lucky. His name is Ryan Barte. Do you like us the same for you? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday!